re-exported my armor and I'm back here in Daz because I realized that I forgot to do something. This is an older model. The Genesis models, which are the newer models, uh, when you export them, they automatically come uh, with a texture that will export. Uh, remember when we exported and I had that box check for export the images, collect the uh, textures to folder? Well, I never put a texture on uh, the undergarment because this is an older one. You probably won't have to worry about that if you're doing newer content uh, that's made compatible for Genesis or made for Genesis, the Genesis model. But the Vicky model, you may have to put a material on it. To do that, you got to get back in Daz. You right click, make sure you select the part, which is the boy shorts for me, and then find your materials which as you can see this is my mat v4 for basic wear and you gotta pick uh, one of the materials that it has for it or you can make your own texture which you already know how to do you can do that in uh, 3ds uh, so I'm just gonna go through here look through the various textures and I'm gonna go ahead and pick one uh, for my arm I'm not sure which one I want to use I guess um, I'll just do the standard one the bicycle shorts will work just fine alright once you do that then you can go ahead and file and you can export again and just go ahead and click A uh, or whatever you export and, and then you just say uh, yeah overwrite accept and that should give me my textures in my exported DAS content. Just go to images and there we go there is the now it'll give you various textures some will give you bump maps uh, which this is a B so I'm guessing this is the bump map a bump map is a normal map it's just a JPEG version uh, so we can turn this into a normal map and use this for our bump uh, it'll, you'll have to just be smart with the textures whenever you get them in here uh, in your images folder uh, where you export it you'll have images one will be your diffuse as you can see this is my diffuse they come out as JPEGs well, we need to convert these to DDS's and we can do that in GIMP and we also need to create a normal map for them uh, which can also be done in GIMP you already know how to do that there's videos on it uh, but for the you know to really complete this tutorial I'll go ahead and do it again so I'm gonna that's a JPEG, this is a JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and open up GIMP. Alright, so once we have GIMP open, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and grab this uh, JPEG and we're just going to drag it and drop it in here. Uh, so now here's our JPEG. Now we might want to, you might want to rescale it. If you know, it's up to you, you can, because this is a really big one and I kind of want to just go with uh, probably a 2048 by a 2048 and go ahead and scale that and that way it'll be the right size. Uh, that's good enough for HD. You don't really have to scale it, but I recommend scaling it uh, to like a 2048 or by a 1024 will also work. Uh, so 2048 by 2048 or 1024 by 1024. It's up to you. So once I have that scaled, now I'm ready to go ahead and make this a DDS. So I'll go to File and we're going to export this. Oh, and I'm going to call this a DDS. So DDS, make sure you type in .dds on the end of it. And I'm going to call this um, panties10 to go with my naming structure. So so long as you, whatever name you want to choose, but you put .dds on the end. It's very important that you put that on the end because that's what Skyrim takes is .dds. I'm going to click export. It'll automatically notice that you've labeled it as a DDS. And for the format, we're gonna do you could just do an RGB 8 uh, which will work fine so RGB 8 now if you were in Photoshop you would do DXT 1 because there's no alpha channel and uh, I'll go ahead and generate bitmaps with this and that's good I'll go ahead and say okay uh, go ahead and grab I'm gonna grab my diffuse uh, or my normal map texture I'm gonna turn this into a normal map so I'm gonna go ahead and load this up I'm going to scale this one as well. So I'm going to, go to image and go to scale image. And I'm going to change this to 2048. Get the right size. There we are. Scale that. And uh, I don't really see that I need to do anything special. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into a normal map. So I'll go to uh, filters, map, normal map. And. Uh, I want to have a wrap. I like nine by nine, and I'll go ahead and set this to a uh, I don't know a four will work fine, I guess, and say okay. Give it a second. Now you already know how to export this. I'm just going to go ahead and jump forward to the file setup of NIF to get that set up. Uh, 
So you should already know how to put, if you want to put a specular on it, you can uh, and continue to do that. I'm just showing that you got to be smart with the textures that it exports. It's going to give you different texture files and you got to kind of look at the texture files that it exports from DAS and say, okay, this is the bump map, so that's a normal map. This is the diffuse texture. It may give you a specular map depending on what the uh, item is that you exported from DAS. And you just look through my previous tutorials. I've already given you tutorials showing you how to set up these textures. And you just, I just wanted to show you that you can convert these textures by in, in GIMP and convert them over to DDS format. So I'm going to go ahead and jump forward and you can just get your texture set up. I'm sure just go back watch the texturing videos on getting those set up. I have like two or three out that show you how to put a specular map on a normal map, how to make normal maps. You should be able to do all that uh, by this point in the tutorial series. Alright, so I've finished my textures up, uh, just converted them over to DDS and made a normal map out of them and I went ahead and put a specular on my normal. I do all that in Photoshop because I don't use GIMP much. I just show you guys how to use GIMP because it's free. Photoshop is 10 times better. I still recommend getting it. Anyways, open up uh, your mesh that you converted and we gotta fix the thing here. Now, important thing to note, anytime you're converting, there are only really a few things that Skyrim takes. There's the NI tri shape it'll take. It has to have a BS dismember skin instance in order to identify which portion of the body it's supposed to be equipped on and what it won't share with. Like, um, it basically assigns, like, if two things, two different NIF files can't be equipped with the same BS dismember skin instance, it'll unequip one and equip the other. That's the purpose of it. Um, and this NI material property, this does not belong. Remember when we drag that, we hit M on the keyboard and I drag that circle over onto the armor to get rid of it? That put this NI material property in, which is just a placeholder uh, for a texture so we could export. Well, we got to get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to hit Control Delete. The Skyrim doesn't take that. Skyrim takes BS lighting shader properties. So to get one, I just went into my Skyrim Meshes Thieves Guild and I just went ahead and opened up the torso. Uh, and I'm just going to steal the uh, BS Lighting Shader property from this. So I'm just going to hit Control C over here, and I'm going to put it uh, on the NI Tri Shape. So type in 11. Now I have it here, and I'm going to go ahead and check the properties here. I want it to be double sided in the shader flags too. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, get that out of the way, and let's see what else we have. Specular skin, good. Receive shadow, cast shadows, good. Ornament. All right, all those settings will work fine. So you might want to hit SF double sided if you're using this texture. Uh, drop this down, and we got to assign our texture. So I'm going to go in here, hit this um, cog wheel here, and uh, in fact, I can probably save myself some time by just going right here, and I'll just hit uh, come from textures over, copy that, and just save myself a little time searching through. So it'll take me right to the right window. Neat little trick there. And uh, I say that panties 10 underscore D. So there's my texture. And I want to put my normal map on there with the specular data. Uh, same deal. Let's go ahead and copy that and then uh, paste this here and hit underscore N. So if there's anything in here other than BS dismember skin instance, NI tri shape data, BS lighting shader property, or it can also have an NI alpha property if there is transparency data. Anything else in here, you need to control delete it. You need to select it and control delete it because if there's anything else in here, it will crash Skyrim because that's all Skyrim takes is what I just listed there, those four things. Anything else is either you know what you're doing so you're not even watching this video or you don't know what you're doing and you need to delete that because it'll crash your Skyrim. So once you have all that set up, I want to go ahead and make sure that my num UV sets is set to 4097 and then I want to right click mesh update tangent space to get my normal map turned back on and go ahead and file save as. Okay, it's 10, save as, yes, and then I can close these two windows. All right, and let's go ahead and test this out in game. And here we are in game, and as you can see, there are my boy shorts <laughs> from Daz to Skyrim. Pretty simple process, just takes a little bit of time. Um, it's just a mesh, you can put it in a video game, but there you have it. 
you can take anything that you can find on the, for Daz 3D and convert it and put it in Skyrim so you have your own meshes. Uh, these are really, like, I, I can't even uh, begin to tell you how detailed and well done these meshes are uh, from Daz 3D. So I highly recommend that uh, you play around with it. Now, I don't know if you can uh, personally use these on the Skyrim Nexus unless you can get, like, maybe free content for Daz 3D and then get the author's permission. He might let you do it. Uh, but there is a, just tons and tons of content out there for Daz 3D. And it's just really cool stuff that you can convert over. I mean, I have, I personally have tons of different stuff like this. Uh, this right here came from Daz uh, 3D, this chess piece. And I put an environment map on it, which there's tutorials on. Like all kinds of stuff you can find and put into Skyrim, you know. Uh, you just got to sit there, play around with it. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, have fun with this and enjoy converting uh, some armors from, uh, or armors and clothing from Daz 3D over to Skyrim, mostly for your own personal use, but like I said, there's free content out there for Daz that the authors will give you permission if you ask them to convert it over uh, to Skyrim and release it on the Skyrim Nexus. You'll just have to hunt around. Uh, Daz 3D, really cool program uh, and capable of converting over to Skyrim now. I uh, hope you have a lot of fun. Anyways, I'll see you for the next tutorial and we'll, uh, I think we're going to do Oblivion armors uh, over to Skyrim next. So, I'll catch you guys later.